What I'd like to do is do one of these every year and I'd like to grow the channel to a point where I can then give them away to subscribers. We have kind of a raffle type of deal or whatever. So if you guys want to be eligible to get a brand new upgraded free computer from me at some point in the future, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, because that's the only way I'm going to be able to afford to do this every year. And frankly, I just eventually not going to need to have like 12 computers and all that. So it'd be cool for everybody if that's something we can make happen. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of The Broken Tech. Except in this case, I don't think we've got a broken one because as you can see, it is literally brand new. What we have here is the cheapest brand new Dell for 2021. This is a model 3880 Inspiron. I got it as an early Black Friday sale, which means it'll probably be pretty much that price every time you go to look at it for most of the rest of the year for $350. Last year I did a couple of videos with my dad's then cheapest new Dell, which was a 3671, and that has become the most popular video on the channel by far. I've actually gotten a lot of email questions from people about that computer, about topics I didn't discuss. I've gotten some other comments about stuff that maybe I could have discussed better, or people had other suggestions or other ideas and other things I wanted to see. So what I decided to do was buy this guy this year, and take this a step at a time through the whole process of all of those things people asked me about. So we're gonna do the same upgrades to this guy that we did to that one, plus a lot more. And I'm going to segment them up into different videos, probably one a month for a little while, just so we have some computer content for the computer people on the channel that are here for that kind of stuff. So that means this guy's gonna get an SSD, he's gonna get more RAM, we're gonna upgrade the video card, we're gonna update the processor. All that good stuff. Oh, we're also going to put an optical drive in it because that's one of the changes from this year to last year is the cheapest offering no longer comes with an optical drive, which for a lot of people is no big deal, but I'm just going to do it for fun more or less. With all that said, I did elect to buy one upgrade for it from Dell, and that is getting Windows 10 Pro instead of Home. I did that for my own reasons, and I don't think that's anything any of you guys out there really need to worry about. You can make your own determinations based on your own research for that. It's like a $50 upgrade. And a lot of the upgrades that I'm going to do to this thing would have been cheaper for me to get from Dell, particularly the CPU, because I'm going to attempt to max this thing out with its highest available i7. And right now, just that processor is going to cost me like 400 bucks, and I could have got it from Dell plus other stuff for like another 300 So the reason I'm going to do the things the way I'm doing them is for YouTube content and for to help people out there follow along if they want to upgrade their own machines. That was one of the most asked for things was video card and CPU upgrades. I'm also kind of hoping this starts a trend on the channel where every year I do one of these. And I've been planning to do that for months already just based on the success of last year's video. But I wanted to divvy it up across manufacturer because usually manufacturers don't do a whole new major model change every year. Like that 3671 had been around for three or four years. This 3880 will probably be around for a few years. But for the purpose of today's video, we're just going to get this guy out of the box. We're going to take the case sides off and just see what's inside it. See what, if anything, has changed between this year and last year and what our game plan is going to be going forward for upgrades, like what form factor SSDs does it support. I'm pretty sure this guy will take an M2 SSD, which is another thing I got some questions about when I did an MSATA SSD video for a Dell 7440 laptop. So there's, I'm hoping there's some cool stuff in here to talk about. So we're just going to get it out of the box and take a look inside. And as you can see, these are all the baseline specs for this machine. We've got a Core i3 10,100 processor, 4 gigs of RAM. We've got a 1 TB hard drive. We have basic Intel graphics, uh, Win 10 Pro. Like I said, that was an optional upgrade I went for. Comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth integrated. Uh, comes with card reader, HDMI, USB 3, blah, blah, blah. You know, integrated onboard sound. Pretty standard basic stuff. Nothing too elaborate going on with that guy. So, not much more to do now than to get it unearthed. And get her on out of there. Looks like we have power cord. We have crappy Dell mouse. Probably crappy Dell keyboard. Warranty and probably quick start manual. Yeah, warranty and quick start guide just showing you how to plug stuff in. If you're here, you're probably already aware of how to plug a computer in. Then the beast within. Looks like I unpackaged it upside down. 
and smashed it into the table right out of the box. I suppose it's a good thing that my first plan is to void the warranty on it anyway, so. <laughs> Here we go. That's our guy in all his glory. Not a whole lot to see. Card reader on the front, SD cards, headphone jack. This is a blank for an optical drive. Like I said, we will be putting one in it, or I believe we will. Uh, first thing I'm noticing is it is a really tiny form factor. I don't exactly remember how big that uh, 3671 was, but this guy seems smaller, which is kind of nice. For reference, that's the box the keyboard came in. She's not very big. Let's see what it takes to get the case off. Looks like we don't even need any tools. So we have a couple thumb screws that are actually pretty tight. It looks like the rest of the case is riveted on, so this is the only side that comes off. Oh, and those are captive, which is nice. We have another one down here. And I believe... Yep. The side just pulls off. And we're in. Let's get down there and get a better look at what we got. I am fairly surprised how much different the form factor of this thing is compared to last year's model. Uh, everything's different. The power supply on this guy is at the bottom. The CPU and the board has been shifted. Uh, it looks like we only have two expansion ports. Uh, something I'm seeing cool that's cool is the uh, RAM slots aren't 100% populated, so there's an empty RAM socket there, so we don't have to take RAM out to add RAM, although I probably still will. I'm not sure if we still have the weirdo Dell right-hand power adapter or not. Dell uses a funky turned adapter. This case looks all kinds of weird. It actually looks like it's been smashed in the front, but I'm pretty sure that's intentional. It looks like those are two and a half inch drive bays of some kind. We do have an M.2 slot for an SSD. I believe that supports up to a 2280 millimeter form factor. And there's a couple different markings and there are two different mounts. So I think we're good to go there. Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth, I assume, one or the other, maybe both. Something that's kind of cool is I do think we do still have this strange Dell uh, right-hand power adapter, but it just plugs into the board right here. So you may be able to just get different cables to swap out if you need to, but for me and probably everybody else out there, there's really not a reason to just go to an M.2 SSD and not worry too much about a 2.5 inch drive up front. We have a gigantic CPU fan shroud kind of thing that has arrows that are labeled for how to get it off. It looks like we just squeeze it. Yep, and out it comes, which is pretty handy. And it looks like a regular old socketed CPU under there. I can just barely see the hinge points for the CPU locking features like right there. So it looks like that is fully socketed. We shouldn't have any problem getting it out and servicing it and replacing it. A few screws, no big deal. Something else I just noticed that's cool is we have an extra SATA cord from the factory. That must be for our optional optical drive, which bays in right here. So that's pretty cool that all that stuff's just there. Uh, from Dell, I think that's only like a $30 upgrade. It would have been worth it to buy it from them. But like I said, we're making a video here. Another item of note is there is an unpopulated SATA connector right here. So you have three on this board. So if you do want to put a whole bunch of hard drives in it, you've got two other cables to use if you want, which is cool. And the only thing that can maybe slow you down there is this is a pretty small power supply. It's only a 200 watt supply. We may run into issues with that when we upgrade the video card. We'll just have to wait and see. This also looks like it's a weird power supply form factor, like it may be Dell specific. So we may have a good time trying to get an upgraded one. Just something we'll have to find out about when we get there. Although actually, now that I look at it, I see extra screw bosses in the case, so that's an extra thread boss. And the rear of the case actually has a, like a knockout shape in it that is like a regular power supply, so I wonder if we can just drop a regular one in. Cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. One more thing I see that I like because I'm old and I have old computers and I keep stuff forever is that the CMOS battery is just socketed. That's just a regular CR2032. 15 years from now when that dies, all I have to do is slap a new one in, which is cool. All in all, it's not a bad little machine. It is exactly what I would have expected to see inside of a $350 brand new computer. Nothing horrible. These are certainly much better than a budget computer of ages ago would have been. I say that as I can't figure out how to put this fan shroud thing back on. Oh, that easy. Just put it on. Yeah, pretty cool. For the money, I like it. I don't know how much better we could have done. 
It looks like this guy is going to be pretty similar to last year's model in regard to getting this front cover off. Looks like we have three pull tabs. Grab those. Just hinges off. Assuming I didn't break it, which it doesn't look like I did. So now we have access to goodies on the front. Uh, one of the things I want to look at is how we're going to put an optical drive in it, just so I know what I need to buy. On the back of our front bezel here, there are pictograms showing us how to install various things, like the fan duct I just took off and how we get our hard drive out. Hilariously, they're calling the optical drive bay the odd bay, which is pretty straightforward. But what's interesting is there's a, an installation instruction for a 2.5 inch drive that on the previous model we installed right up here. But there's no provision to do that in this thing. And the more I'm looking around, the more it looks like that pictogram is depicting a bracket that probably goes up there to house a 2.5 inch drive. But I can't find the evidence of that through Dell support. And that's kind of the fun thing about being one of the people out there with something brand new is that we're going to be the people to develop these answers that other people can then benefit from. And it looks like that's what this pictogram is showing us, that it should clip in and then you should be able to swing it down. So I'm going to get a hold of Dell Tech Support and see what we can find out, which is kind of the point of the video here, just to show you guys what you could be getting into. And we'll discover more as we go later. Looks like for our optical drive, things are going to be really straightforward. This bracket pulls out. I'm not even sure why it's there. Looks like any laptop drive will just slot right in and hit the screw holes. The fun part I'm going to have with that will be coming up with the proper bezel. You can see that's a laptop bezel. So it's got a strange curvature. Of course, our desktop case does not. So I think from the hardware end, this will be all pretty straightforward. But from the Dell specific end of things, it's probably going to get weird. Like the power supply and all that kind of stuff. So... Should be a lot of fun to get into once we get into it. For those of you that are repeat visitors to the channel, you know one of my first favorite things to do is slap an SSD in. So that is probably the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to go order up a 1 terabyte, probably, M.2 SSD, and we'll get that thrown in there in the next video about this thing. And we'll do some performance benchmarking on this guy before we really get going. As you can see, I haven't even powered it up yet, so I don't know how it's going to perform out of the box. But I assume not awesome, because last year's contender didn't perform all that awesome out of the box either. And by doing some actual benchmarking before we get going, it'll be kind of fun to see what your bang for the buck for each step of things is. So I know a lot of the people that were attracted to last year's video are on the younger end of enthusiasts, and they don't necessarily have $500 or $1,000 to just throw at a computer all at the same time. And they're looking at, you know, Christmas or birthday or side job money or whatever. For 100 bucks, you can do this, 200 blah, blah, blah. Take it on up and play some games or whatever you want to do. And I think that'll be a fun series of videos for us to do over the coming weeks and months and just take it in that incremental approach like folks at home might. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. I'm Max, that's Saddington Bear, and we make videos like this all the time. Here are a couple links to some other videos we've made, and we really appreciate you guys stopping in.